They did it. They bloody did it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What an amazing performance by the Melbourne Football Club. I wasn't nervous throughout the week. There was a couple of signs of nerves. Uh, but overall, I wouldn't have said I was nervous, uh, especially compared to the prelim. I would say that I was quite excited for the game to get underway. And the boys bravely got off to a hot start. And I was licking my lips. I was going, this is unbelievable. But it won't continue like this. There's no doubt the dogs will get back in it. And they did. That middle part of the game in the second term... And in the third term in particular, when they kicked the first two goals of the game, I was gutted. And I was really, really nervous. Um, I filmed everything. It'll be on the Demon Fan Diaries tomorrow. And that'll be on the AFL's YouTube channel. So you'll be able to see every reaction, every... <laughs> you, you'll be able to see it all. It, it's, all on the de- uh, it's all on the Demon Fan Diaries. It's all on the AFL's YouTube tomorrow. But I was really, really nervous. I was like, geez, if we don't get a goal here, we're in some strife. And then I think we kick 16 of the next 17 goals. Ridiculous. They are so powerful. They're such a powerful midfield, such a powerful group. And I can't believe they've got the job done. The Ds have won the flag. It is just the most amazing experience. Seeing the boys get the medals and see the boys do the lap of honour and seeing like all the celebrations on everyone's stories on all the the, the, the D's uh, players' stories. It's just crazy. It is amazing. I watched it with Dad, and uh, there was hugs, there was high fives, there was celebrations galore, especially in that last term when they just piled on the goals. It was just awesome. Um, as I said, it's, it's all filmed, and it's going to be in the Demon Fan Diaries tomorrow on the AFL's YouTube channel. So uh, check that out when that uh, hit, hits your sub boxes. Uh, probably tomorrow Arvo sometime. Uh, I'm just extremely proud. I'm extremely proud of the group. Uh, they, they're they so good. They're just so good. It, it, it's amazing. It, it's taken a long time. There's been, you know, a lot of memes. There's been a lot of lows. There's been a lot of floggings. There's been a lot of uh, just bad PR. Like, we've just been the laughing stock for a long, long time. And all that is meaningless because we've just won the flag. It just, it all means nothing. And um, yeah, all that pain and all that frustration and it, it all just goes away. It just papers over all those cracks. Well, it concretes over all those cracks. It feels like a new leaf for this footy club. And um, I, I never, I, I'm not a greedy person. That that has satisfied all my needs um, in terms of football for a long, long time. Ideally, I'd love to see sustained success. I don't want to be a club that jumps up for a year, pinches a flag, and then goes back into irrelevance. I'm hoping that we've got the foundations and we're going to be a club that is just thereabouts every year and you can be really proud of because at the minute, every Melbourne supporter is just so proud of the footy side that we go for. And I don't recall that ever being a part of the existence of my team or that it obviously was back in the 60s and and whatnot, but especially the team that I've been supporting, that overriding sense of pride and, um, yeah, that, that, that feeling of fulfillment I haven't felt before as a supporter. So it is just incredible. Um, I just want to thank them. I want to thank every single one of them uh, to really roll the sleeves up and do it for your supporters and do it for your club uh, and, and go over for a mission like the way they had the 9 p.m curfew and the way they really drilled in and zoned in and they were focused throughout the whole month when they were away from home they kept reiterating in every press conference that they were doing it for the supporters and doing it for a lot of melbourne people it's just crazy it is unbelievable i'm so stoked i'm happy for us but i'm happy for them as well the amount of work that they've put in to do it for themselves and to do it for the supporters as well. It's just, it's crazy. I'm just so thankful and I, I want to thank them. I want to kiss them. I want to hug them. Um, yeah. Oh, and I, I want to see them live again. I want to see this group play footy live again. I only got to watch them a handful of times this season. And it was phenomenal to go to the games going, we're a chance today. So I want to go next year and just be able to lap it up and enjoy my team play football. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm going to leave this pretty short and sharp. 
The Demon Fan Diaries will be out tomorrow, I believe, on the AFL's YouTube channel. It has everything. I filmed everything. I filmed every biff, bump, and brawl. Um, so check that out. And, yeah, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone watching. We've won the flag. <laughs> We've won the flag. I'll see you for more content during the week. Cheers, guys.